New Zealand massive 7.4 earthquake shook the whole country. A 5.1 followed today and a 3.1 a little bit later hits Christchurch. The uh, New Zealand geology agency calls it uh, 3.1 whereas uh, USGS has it at a 2.7. Nevertheless, it looks like uh, they are related, of course, because of the fact that they're taking place on the same, I'm looking at the timelines, the 5.1 was after the church, the Christ church, but they're in the same uh, fault line. It's a tectonic area. It's the edge of the Australian plate. And uh, it's a subduction zone with the South Pacific, the Pacific Plate. It's on the Ring of Fire. And uh, the North Island on New Zealand, this is one of the volcanoes of the North Island of Tapo, supervolcano, Mount Tapo. Is, it looks beautiful. It has a crater lake. And to look at it, you wouldn't think it was a supervolcano, but it is. It's one of the 20 supervolcanoes of the Earth. And uh, they're not counting the supervolcano of Germany, but it doesn't matter. This is the uh, Tapo Lake. This, this is a crater lake of the supervolcano, which erupted about 23,000 years ago. Here we are at Seismo Berkeley, and this is our area right here. And these are usually the deeper quakes, but this one was shallow. The other ones were a lot deeper. This one, as you can see, look at how deep that is. Uh, really way under the, the uh, uh, lithosphere. This is the 7.4 that we had a, a day, two days ago, and this is the 5.1, a lot more, of course. Uh, okay, this is the one we had. This is the North Island, of course. This is at, looks like an aftershock right along that fault line, and this is the Christchurch, the Tepo Volcano, and this is the uh, area of it. Look at this is the crater lake of Tapo. This is super volcano, and that's a community right there. Look at that, right at the edge of the lake. It must be beautiful to live on that lake, but it is, you're living at the the edge of a super volcano. And this is our area here. The uh, super volcano was the 7.4 was here. Then we had the 5.1 around here and Christchurch around there. And uh, three, this, they have it as a 3.1. And uh, of course, the Kiwis are told to stay away from the water because of the fact that uh, we don't know if it's a, uh, this is the fault line. We don't know if it's a foreshock or the main shock. But they have warned people, they have been warning them for six months, a year now, that they are expecting a major earthquake, a very strong earthquake, both North Island and South Island. How do they know? Because they measure the pressure, the stress on that fault line. And it's similar to what they had, the stress that they recorded before the huge Christchurch earthquake that they had years ago. Christchurch being right there. Now going back to our 7.4 and uh, I want to show you the, do we have the no, we don't have that. Okay, let's go back to this. I'm going to this. I want to show you the shaking. The shaking, because USGS ha stops at a certain um, f intensity, unfortunately. But let's go to the aerial. The aerials, you can see much more clearly. Look at that. Okay, that's right on the fault line that we had two days ago, 7.4. And if you extrapolate the lines, obviously it shook the whole of New Zealand, if not even the at least the east coast of Australia right there. Okay. And going back to this again. And the regional information. This is it right here. Very active area. The eastern margin of the Australian plate, one of the most seismically active areas of the world due to high rates of conversion between the Australian plate and the Pacific plates in the region of New Zealand, the 3,000 kilometer long Australian Pacific plate boundary extending from South Macquarie Island to the southern Kermadec Island chain, concluding it includes the 
oceanic transform to oppositely verging subduction zones and the expressive continental transform from uh, the Alpine Fault through South Island, New Zealand, through the uh, South Island, New Zealand. Since 1900, there have been 15 7.5 plus earthquakes recorded near New Zealand. Nine of these are the four level. Well, this one, there was 7.4. I Well, put it on a 7.5 scale. All right. So what, this is one of the biggest earthquakes here in New Zealand. Uh, including the 1989 and magnitude 8.2 event on the ridge itself. So, so these are, of course, on the ridge. Okay, the uh, Christchurch is close enough. It's not even uh, it's about not even 100 miles away. So this is what's going on there. A lot of activity in this whole area. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.